Hey everybody, Darren Yankee, Echo Y Farms. I did a video the other day addressing a vulnerable spot in our pasture rotation right along this fence line along the woods. I talked about all the water that flows out of our neighbor's woods through ours because the woods next door has some pretty steep hillsides on it. So they have a lot of water that flows out of there. And we're always getting a little erosion on this side of our fence. So we had reworked this piece last fall. We seeded it down again last fall. So my video the other day, I had fenced off this little area where the tall grass is located at. I just removed the fence now. The cattle were in here two days ago. And you can see there's some nice shade here at the time. So what do the cattle do when it's sunny outside? They like going over by the shade. So they have this area over here matted down pretty good. And if you can see over on the fence line over there, they have eight up against that fence. There's kind of a bank along there. They have the eight down pretty short. So if you envision that going through here, that's what that area would look like as well. So I'm really glad that we ended up fencing this off to help protect that area. So if we get a heavy rainstorm, we'll keep our soil in place and the water will come through that tall grass and get dispersed out into our pastures and hopefully will infiltrate into our soils. Because there is a, just a little bit of a swale in the pasture here where the water does flow. But there ain't much of a ditch up at the upper end here. Like I say, if it rains out, we get quite a bit of water that flows across this pasture. So that worked out real well for us. You can see the black and white Holsteins. They're two days away from here, where they're at right now in a paddock. I just turned the beef feeder cattle that's in front of the Holsteins around the pond. So they'll be around the pond for approximately a half a day. I'll pull them out tomorrow morning right away and put them into the next paddock. Just enough to nip some of the grass off, knock it down, keep the weeds and the brush from growing around that pond area. But it's pretty nice out today, especially with staying here in the shade, but. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like before and after putting this fence in and what it could have looked like if we did not do that. Will you all check out the last video I posted about putting it in and you all have a good one. Thank you much.